All right, this first problem says Mary and Lisa are sisters. Mary's age plus Lisa's age is six. In addition, four times Mary's age plus two times Lisa's age is 16. How old is each sister? The first thing we need to do is define our variables. Okay, so what are the two things we're talking about? We've got Mary's age and Lisa's age. So I'm going to have M equals Mary's age. L equals Lisa's age. Now the first sentence right here says Mary's age plus Mary's age plus Lisa's age is six. That's my first equation. So I'm going to write it down here. M plus L equals six. Then I'm going to go and look at the second sentence. In addition, Four times Mary's age, okay, so four times Mary's age plus two times, two times Lisa's age is 16. There's our two equations. Now, the next question I'm going to ask you is if I want to solve this, do I use graphing, linear combination, or substitution? Linear combination. Because what, what's one way, say I wanted to get rid of the L's, what would I multiply the top equation by to get rid of the L's? Negative 2. And then I could rewrite it, negative 2M minus 2L, I wrote too big in the blue, didn't I, equals negative 12. And I would rewrite the bottom equation because that's just the same. We didn't do anything to it. Then you would put these together. Negative 2 plus 4M is 2M. The L's cancel. Now, this is supposed to be a negative 12 right here. Negative 12 plus 16 is 4. Divide by 2. M equals 2. So that means that Mary is 2 years old. How old is Lisa? Well, I mean, in common sense, you can look and see here in this top equation, I've got M is 2. So if I have 2 plus L equals 6, what's L? You should be able to look at that and see. Yeah, Lisa's going to be 4. Let's look at the second equation, or second um, problem. Stephen is thinking of two numbers. Six times the larger number plus the smaller number is negative three. Four times the larger number plus two plus two times the smaller is negative ten. Find the two numbers. Okay, how is it? First off, when we define our variable, how is it identifying the two numbers? Are they just saying number one, number two? They're saying it's a what? Smaller number and a larger number. So I'm going to make S equal the smaller number and L equal the larger number. Now look at that first sentence, or that second sentence technically. It says six times the larger. Six times the larger minus... The smaller number is, come over here, what's that say, negative 3? So there's my first equation. 6L minus S equals negative 3. Looking at the next sentence, it says 4 times the larger number. 4 times the larger number plus... 2 times the smaller is negative 10. All I'm doing is, see where I'm going underneath the words and I'm writing the letters and the numbers that go with it? Sometimes that helps. See, because now I can go over here and here's my second equation. So now looking at these 
these two equations. What what is it? How is it best set up to solve it? Linear combination, graphing, or substitution. Linear combination. When do you use linear combination? When both equations are in what? What type of form? When they are both in standard form. You may want to write this on the back. You're going to have to be able to identify it. When they are both in standard form, this is when you're going to use linear combination because you're looking to see if you can just cross out one of the letters. Another way of solving is by substitution. What do those what do those look like? One of the equations is in standard form. Okay, so for example, it could be x plus y equals 8. The second equation is in x equals or y equals. Because what you're doing is you're taking what x equals and you're substituting it in here for x and rewriting that top equation. That's what substitution is for. What is the third way of solving? The third way of solving is graphing. Both of my equations need to be in slope-intercept form. That means that they should be y equals. When we did the superhero one, right? The thing we talked about that we did yes, yesterday, the superhero one, they were both like y equals 300 minus 10x. They were all in y equals form. Those are why we could put those in the calculator. Okay, you should have been able to solve by graphing or putting them in the calculator. All right, now let's look at number three. Take a minute and I want you to write these equations. For number three. Okay, on this one. On this one it says J and Kent are brothers. So I have J equals J. Huh, that sounds funny. All right, anyway. K equals Kent's age. All right. J is older than Kent. Okay, so J is going to be the older brother. The difference in their ages is three. So you're going to have to take the older brother minus the younger brother because, remember, difference is minus is three. Then it says twice J's age, twice J's age, plus three times Kent's age is 21. That's your two equations. How should you solve this one? Linear combination. Number four. If you're doing the video, pause the video and then come back and see how you do. On this one, what are the two things they're talking about? Adult tickets and child tickets, right? Or student tickets. So I'm going to have A equal the adult tickets. And S equal the student tickets. How much are the adult tickets? Four dollars. And the student tickets? Two. Well, my first equation I'm going to go and find, let's see. The box office sold ten tickets. 
So the adult tickets plus the student tickets, that equals 10. The second thing that we know is how much the tickets were sold for. So I have $4 times the adult tickets plus $2 times the student tickets equals $24. They're both in standard form, so we should solve it by linear combination. Let's do one more. It says Marl is thinking of two numbers. The difference in the numbers is between the two numbers is four. Six times the larger plus three times the smaller is negative 30. Find the two numbers. Okay, it tells us the difference in the numbers. The difference in the numbers is that one's larger, one's smaller. So I'm going to have L equals the larger number and S equals the smaller number. The difference in the two numbers is 4. What is difference? It means to subtract. So the larger number minus the smaller is 4. 6 times the larger number, 6 times the larger number, plus 3 times the smaller is equals negative 30. Again, they're both in standard form. It's easier to solve this by linear combination. So looking at number four, when you try and do this, they're talking about child tickets and adult tickets. So I'm going to have C equals the child tickets. and A equal the adult tickets. Now, it says the total of tickets was nine. So you have the child plus the adult, and that equals nine. Then you put the dollar amounts with it. It says the child tickets were, see, the child tickets were $2 and the adult were $4. So you have 2 times the child plus 4 times the adult, and that equals 24. That should have been your equations right there. Here's the next one. Emma was thinking of two numbers. There was a larger number and a smaller number. Okay, so I'm going to have L equal the larger number. And S equal the smaller number. It says the larger number, the larger number, plus two times the smaller. Two times the smaller is six. The next equation, twice the larger number, twice the larger number, plus the smaller is 9. Those are your two equations. Number 8. You should have tried this one. Well, it's talking about, what is it, postcards and pocket calendars? Well, pocket and postcard are both P's. You can use X and Y. You always can do that. But I'm even going to do like P equals the postcards. It doesn't matter what letters you use as long as you label them. Whoops, postcards. Um, let's use, I'll use C for the calendars. Now, it says in here that the postcards are $3. I like labeling mine before I ever begin. And the calendars are $2. Well, it says they, she sold a total of seven items. That means the postcard plus the calendars equals seven. Then put the dollar amounts with it. Three times the postcards plus two times the calendars, and that equals $16.
There was your next equation. Number nine. Number nine. It's talking about Patty and Rachel. So I'm going to have P equals Patty's age. Whoops. Patty's age. And R equals Rachel's age. Well, the first equation, the first, the sentence right here says Patty's age plus Rachel's age is eight. Patty's age plus Rachel's age is eight. In addition, four times Patty's age, four times Patty's age, plus two times Rachel's, two times Rachel's is 20. That's your second equation. Now go through and please do number 10. In this equation, it says Joel is thinking of two numbers. So and in the problem, trying to figure out what type of numbers they are, they, it says a smaller number and a larger number. So I'm going to have L equal the larger number and S equal the smaller number. So it, this sentence up here says three times the smaller minus the larger is one. Looking just at those words, see, I could write the letters with it. So this is my first equation. Then the second one says two times the smaller number, two times the smaller plus the larger number is nine. Well, if we wanted to solve this one, what's the best way to solve it? You betcha, linear combination, because look, I don't even have to do anything right away. The, the larger numbers cancel out. And I get 5s equals 10. Divide by 5. The smaller number is 2. The smaller number is 2. So now let's figure out the larger. I've got 3 times. No, let's not do that. Let's do the positive one. It really doesn't matter, but I like the positives. 2s plus l equals 9. 2 times the smaller, and the smaller is 2, plus the larger is 9. So I have 4 plus L equals 9, minus 4, L equals 5. So the larger number was 5. Number 11, can you figure out this one? Well, let's see, I've got Jason and Michael are brothers. And the sum of their ages. Okay, so I'm going to talk about J equals Jason's age. And M equals Michael's age. The sum of their ages is 10. Jason plus Michael equals 10. Oops, let's, there we go. This two times Jason's age, two times Jason's age, plus three times Michael's age. Well, make the M, the board's freaking out on me, equals 24. There it is, and then I have my system of equations. If I wanted to solve this out, I could, if I wanted to get rid of the J's, I could multiply the top equation by negative two. That would give me negative two J minus two M equals negative 20. The bottom one would stay the same. I oh know that's 24. I'm kind of squeezing them in there. These J's cancel out. Negative 2 plus 3 is just M. Negative 20 plus 24 is 4. So Michael's age is 4. And it says Jason's age plus Michael's age is 10. Well, how old is Jason? Minus 4, minus 4. Jason is 6. Number 12. Take a minute and try and write these equations. 
A box office sold nine movie tickets. Let's see. Some were student tickets and some were adults. So I'm going to have S equal the student tickets. And A, oh, I forgot the S here. I didn't write it. There we go. A equals the adult tickets. Well, so my first equation here, it says that they sold nine movie tickets. Student plus adult equals nine. Well, students are $2 and the adult tickets are five. So I'm going to have 2 times the student plus 5 times the adult, and the receipts for the movies was $30, so it equals 30. Number 13. Pause this video and see if you can answer or write this system. Mark was thinking of two numbers. So the difference between them is 7. Two times the large, ah, oh, there we go, larger and smaller. L equals larger number. S equals smaller number. The difference between the two numbers is 7. Larger number minus the smaller equals 7. Then it says 2 times the larger plus 4 times the smaller is 32. Whoops, that didn't, that 2 didn't come out, did it? Number 14. Can you write up this system? Paul is thinking of two numbers, larger and smaller again, so let's define our variables. L equals the larger number. S equals the smaller number. It says the larger number plus, larger number plus, two times the smaller is 20, equals 20. Well, gee. Then it says twice the larger number, twice the larger number, minus the smaller is 10. There's your other system or the other equation for the system, sorry. Then we've got number 15, last one on this video. Can you figure out the equations? Again, we're talking about larger and smaller numbers. So L equals the larger number, and S equals the smaller number. The difference between the two numbers is 10. Remember, difference means to subtract. Larger number minus the smaller is 10. Twice the larger number, twice the larger number, plus three times the smaller is zero. Now, can we solve this one? Let's do this one by linear combination here. What does my top equation, what would I have to multiply the top equation to get rid of the, the S's? Right, you have to multiply it by 3. So when I rewrite this, after you multiply 3 by everything, I get 3L minus 3, whoops, G, here we go, minus 3S equals 30. So I'm going to rewrite the bottom equation, 2L plus 3S equals 0. 2 plus 3 is 5L, the S's go away, equals 30. Divide by 5, L equals 6. Whoa, my pen is freaking out. L is 6, so my larger number is 6. So now, I can do this a couple ways. Let me take L minus S equals 10. The larger number, oops, we know the larger number. The larger number is 6. 6 minus the smaller equals 10. So if we subtract 6 from each side, negative S equals 4. You have to divide by negative 1. S equals negative 4. Whoops, there we go. So the smaller number is negative 4.